Vegetative Propagation In plants, the units of vegetative propagation such as runner, rhizome, sucker, tuber, offset and bulb are giving rise to new offspring. These structures are called vegetative propagules. Formation of these structures does not involve two parents. The process involved is asexual. Are you aware how plants like potato, sugarcane, banana, ginger and dahlia are cultivated? Determine the site of origin of the new plantlets in the plant shown. You will notice that they invariably arise from the nodes present in the modified stems of these plants. Onion is stem modification. Adventitious roots are grown from discoid in the soil. Adventitious buds arise from the notches present at margins of leaves of bryophyllum. This ability is fully exploited by gardeners and farmers for commercial propagation of such plants. Terror of Bengal aquatic plant water, hyacinth, drains oxygen from the water, which leads to death of fishes. Introduced in India for its beautiful flowers and shape of leaves, propagate at phenomenal rates spread all over water body within a short period of time. It is very difficult to get rid of them. Now let us see few examples of vegetative propagules in angiosperms. A. Eyes of potato. B. Rhizome of ginger. C. Bulbils of a gavy. D. Leaf buds of bryophyllum. E. Offset of water hyacinth. Rhizome. Modified stem grows horizontally. Distinct nodes and internodes are present with marked apical and auxiliary buds. Adventitious roots present at the ventral side. Example, ginger, gingerbread, turmeric, and curcuma. Tuber. In Solanum tuberosum, half moon like structures called eyes of potato. These eyes indicate the position of nodes and internodes. Scale leaves and auxiliary buds are present. Apical bud is also present. Tubers have no roots. Example, Solanum tuberosum, potato. Heliander, tuberosus. Onion, underground stem modification. Adventitious roots grow towards the soil. Fleshy, scaly leaves, which are eaten, grow above soil, aerial. Auxiliary buds produce new plant. Apical bud shows inflorescence. Tunicate bulbs are seen in Allium sepa, onion. The imbricate bulbs are seen in Allium sativum, garlic. Corb. Underground stem modification grows vertically in the soil. Nodes and internodes present. Scale leaves arising at node. Apical and auxiliary buds are present. Auxiliary roots produce daughter roots. Comb shows contractile roots, which are helpful to put the comb in distinct depth. Example, amorphophallus, colocasia, etc.